Again, Ish, you know, Facebook, Instagram gets so jealous when I'm on fire, when the wine is hasty. So actually, we're having a wine session, you know what I mean? Like, I'm having a little bit of a wine session, talking about some of the things that actually happen in Forex. And um, so welcome to my wine session. I want to have a lot of more of these things, you know what I mean? Wine sessions. Where, if you look carefully, I got, I got a good mix of water and wine, because hey, wine can also be my weakness. But it can also be my weakness. I can disappear now, now, hello wine. But I love it. I love the taste. I love, I love everything. This is a, um, this is actually just a red, a red. Is it a red blend or whatever? One. You know wine is hitting you when you start reading it. But anyway, before I got cut off earlier, I was having a little bit of a chat about I was having a little bit of chat about my experience in the in the forex world and my history of being scammed and all of those sort of things. I just had I just had my boy Andile and as I was just about to add Andile onto the call to just chat about some of my my forex mishaps I just thought hey man let me you know let me just drop some heat about some of the things that I've actually experienced and as I was going more like a sorry I'm just trying to talk about this guy called Ref Wade I don't see him now on the airwaves anymore that guy like what are you right now like he's I don't know if he's grown. I don't know if he's relaxed. I don't know if, you know, I don't know if he's like, um, you know, like just quit the game or something like that. But that guy probably will come back and, and, and he can destroy the game, man. Ref Wayne, Ref Wayne began his career as, I think, I think he used to sell MTN SIM cards. That's what he used to do. That was his, like, his hustle. His hustle was that he would buy SIM cards, activate them, <clears throat> and sell them at a cost. And, man, do you know how good you need to be to sell a SIM card? I mean, SIM, SIM card, dog, is two rand. I don't know how much is a SIM card now. Like, thank God I don't know what the cost of a SIM card is in 2019. It's a blessing, right? But Ref Wayne... Huh? A hundred and something. Is SIM card a hundred bucks? How much is a SIM card? Hundred yeah. Ha! Some card is a hundred rand. Yo, apparently some card get hundred rand. When I mean, I don't know how much is some card. G is a hundred some card. Mm, nano sim. Yeah. iPhone. Nano sim a hundred bucks. Nano sim is a hundred bucks. That guy back in the day, man, was selling um, MTN sim cards, and he was selling those MTN sim before we had. You know, I think nano sim is something very recent. That guy, I'm gonna. SIM card was I am when a SIM card was too rand. And that guy was able to sell a SIM card to you like a pro, man. Probably that guy can sell you Rika. Can, that guy can say to you, for two rand, if you just give me an extra 10 rand, I will Rika it for you right now. I mean, that's, that's Ref Wayne for you. That's, that's how good he was. But I was still telling you, right? So Ref Wayne opened, opens this um, signal channel, right? opens a signal channel and i drop into the signal channel it was like one of those before i mean guys you understand that this is ref wayne before he even created um armageddon how many of you know about armageddon i mean comment in this group and comment in the comment section tell me about if you know about armageddon him when i was I even like he created a whole recruitment thing with armageddon he had yo Hi guys, that was the god. That was the god of marketing, guys. That ref motherfucking Wayne. I'm telling you. How many of you know about Armageddon? This is like an an automated trading thing that he did. And you guys think I'm bullshitting. If you think I'm bullshitting, Jock, just go Google. Google what Armageddon. Armageddon Forex Trading or stuff like that. African AFI. Yeah. African Forex Institute. Google that shit. Stuff Saraf Wayne. I'm probably it's operational today. And I remember how I started off. Created 
Yes, you see, you see, I'm not the only one who knows about it. I mean, I'll tell you a little bit about how Armageddon operated. But for now, we'll just start talking about what happened with the signals. This bra had a signal channel on Telegram. As you know, Telegram, you can actually edit the conversations. I mean, if I'm having a chat with you on Telegram, it's not like WhatsApp where you can't edit what you actually said. You can go back on stuff that's already been read on Telegram edit the conversation and change the actual wording. This is pretty much how why Telegram is so big among the Forex guys because you can just go back and edit it, right? And it was easy because you're dealing with, you know, trading stuff. It would be great if you can edit your conversation. And it was a positive thing when Telegram, when everybody moved on to Telegram. But lo and behold, they never knew that Ref Wayne will drop onto Telegram and Ref Wayne will create an account on Telegram. This is Ref Wayne. Ref Wayne does something, goes online, says, says, goes online and says, yo guys, um, I'm looking at gold. It is NFP. For those who don't know what NFP is, it's non-farm payroll. It comes on the first of every month. And on non-farm payroll, you first of, it's the first Friday of every month. That's, that's, that's what it comes out. It's news that comes out on the first Friday of every month. And we're talking about, in those news, they discuss the employment rates in the U.S., how many people were fired, how many people were hired, all those sort of shit, right? This NFP causes the market to go fucking crazy, like mad up and down and stuff like that, right? So in this thing, Ref Wayne is like, yeah, it's, it's about to hit 2.30. So around 2 o'clock, 2.30, that's when there's those, um, those news come out. So it depends on when it is. If it's winter in the US, it comes out, I think, at 3.30. And if it's two, if it's summer, it comes out at 2.30. So it's one hour before. Ref Wayne drops. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys. We are ready, we are ready. Uh, it's time for us. We're going to buy gold. This is Ref Wayne now. We're going to buy gold. We're going to buy gold. We're going to buy gold. I'm like, okay, well, let's buy gold. Ah, uh, this is me looking at my MT4 platform. Bye, 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 Boy, now that thing dropped as nuts. Go to that thing, just when the gold went, t t t and it hit the ground running. But I saw my account blow right in front of my eyes, and then Ref went posts a message immediately, almost like three seconds later. Because the market is so crazy, that's uh, almost three seconds later, he says, I hope you guys sold, because I sold. I saw that the market is turning, and I sold. When I go back to the message that he actually posted on Telegram on what signal I should take, fuck, that direction was changed. Like, remember that message where he was saying, all right, everybody, it's time, bye, 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 bye. That message was all of a sudden, all right, it's time to sell, 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 sell. I'm like, oh, what, what, no. <laughs> Boy, no, no, no. I'm telling you, he had a whole team of people that used to join that groups. I swear to God, just like Bushiri does it. Like he had people that went into that, that, that telegram group and say, yo, Ref Wayne, you're the man. We sold, we sold. Wow. And they post pictures of the sales that they did. And I'm there thinking, guys, how on earth did I see that there was a buy there? How did I see that as a buy? That is pretty much how textbook Ref Wayne was. I wish my boy Andy Lee would log on here. Good morning, uh, and he would actually attest to the shit I'm saying. Because that was us back in the day when we used to follow these really, really phenomenal, I'm telling you, phenomenal traders, guys. Phenomenal traders, whom at the time we believed, Kibo Refueni, Kibo, you know, those kind of people. And, and that's how he did it, and that's how he blew up. And, dog, you would go to that guy's Instagram, it was always on point. You go to that guy's Facebook, it was always on point. It was always on some buy, 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 sell, 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 sell. And he'd show really great pictures. But the signals that he sent, it always would change. But that doesn't dispute the fact that Ref Madigzela way. Ref Ricky Ricky way. Ah, Refilwe. Guys, Refilwe was the man. Refilwe was the man. And remember, this is the guy who kept saying that he was trained by who knows who's trained ref wayne if you know ref wayne tell me comment here and tell me who does ref wayne say he was trained by 
Who does the ref wear and say he was trained by? The guy who was apparently dead. Who's apparently dead? Like, who knows Ref Wayne? And say, say, yo, dog, I know Ref Wayne. Ref Wayne said he was trained by some white guy that is dead. That if you were to ask him questions about that guy, he'll tell you, yo, dog, that guy is dead. <laughs> who knows about that? Who knows about that? If you know about that, say, yeah, dog, come, just comment and tell me, yeah, I know, dog, I know about that. I know, I know that Ref Weezy did tell us that the guy who mentored him is dead. So we never knew this guy that mentored Rev. And we, this is like, I mean, like we were in awe, man. We were in absolute awe because this is a guy who like, I mean, get Rev who is you. This is Rev way. Kind of what's all, he used to drive a jet. Jet Hanyana, a greeny, VR6 Nyana. That's the kind of car that Bra used to drive. And this is where he started. Yeah. I'm telling you, Ref Weezy. Born. So after the Signal Channel, he started this thing called AFI. African Forex Institute. Now, this is just after Sandy Leshezi had blown up the internet. And Sandy Leshezi was apparently the youngest trader alive. Youngest trader in South Africa, Sandy Leshezi. Okay, we are going now. We are following Sandy Leshezi. Because we want to see... What Sandile Shezi is about, right? We wanted to know, you know, Sandile, hey, go guys, this guy made it to the news. He's the man. Ha! That didn't sit well. Ref Wayne was like, who the fuck is Sandile Shezi? Ne? Ref Wayne was like, who the fuck is Sandile Shezi? Nigga, I am the youngest fucking trainer in this motherfucker. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Do you guys see that? You guys see that I'm not bullshitting. Yes, yes, yes. Kavala Genesis just commented right now. He says he wrote a book, he wrote about that man in his book. Apparently, the guy took him out of school when he was still in grade nine. Now remember, this is the ref Weezy. Damano driver jet. And he said, No, Chief, like I was taken out of school at grade nine, and it was because of that guy, and that guy taught me how to trade. So pretty much if you think about it, grade nine, 10, 11, 12. And first year, let's say first year, that bra had five years training from this guy who died that we don't know. He had a picture of the guy even. Google it. Don't believe me. If you don't believe me, Google it. Find out about the legendary Ref Wayne. Like, dog, I, I'm telling you, like, I wish Ref Wayne would come onto my posts, come on my live. I would not, like, I wouldn't be a dick about it. I would just literally just want to talk him through the shit that he showed me that I was like, wow, this guy is amazing. <laughs> I really find him to be, I, I'm really a big fan of him. A big fan. Um, no, 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 chief. It's not because he was too smart. It's because that brat took him out. It's not because of he was too smart. Let me tell you now, let me tell you now. Ref Weezy was taken out of school from grade 9 by this bra. From so way to a man's high school home. And he said, oh, Jeff, why don't you teach you how to trade Forex? Yeah, surely, surely, surely. That's how it was. Yeah, dog, are you, pu are you putting that in the oven or the bra? Magic. Oven or bra? I'll put it in here. Okay, cool. No, it's fine. Anything is cool. So anyway, um, yeah. So after this is after the Signal Channel. Then from the Signal Channel, he started AFI, AFI African Forex Institute, the first African uh, Forex Institute in the African continent. That is that thing. The first Forex Institute on the African continent. That's what he was talking about. And. As you guessed it, your boy signed up. Your boy was like, nah, 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 nah. I am not going to miss out on this shit. I am going to be checking out the first Forex Institute in the country, in the continent. I don't want to miss that. So this is me signing up. Born to sign up. David Schwartz. Yes! <laughs> the bra was David Schwartz. 
David Schwartz. <laughs> Yay, hey, Camelo, you just made my day. David Schwartz. Dog, Camelo, you, you really, really just made my day. It was David Schwartz. David Schwartz. That this bra signed up with a guy called David Schwartz. But anyway, he started the first AFI shoot in the country during the time when Sandy Lachez was also GFI. So pretty much it was AFI versus GFI. And all of us were like, no, we are going to side with the number one trader in the country, the god of all gods, the god of Forex, the godfather of Forex to this day in South Africa. That's what he called himself, the authority. Anybody knows him, he used to say, I'm an authority in Forex, in this tone, in this exact way that I'm saying. An authority of Forex. That's what I used to say. That's what he used to say. I'm an authority in Forex and uh, I want to teach you how to trade. Yeah, did we not sign up? Guy gave us courses. Guys gave us the whole of Baby Pips. Do you know what Baby Pips is? www.babypips.com It is a free website that has been created for people who want to learn about trading Forex. www.babypips.com Go check it out. It's like the absolute basic. That guy, and I won't even talk about Marana GFI because Marana GFI also has that little thing where he chowed a baby peeps. We'll not forget, like, let's not forget how Comrade GFI also did the same thing. Comrade GFI did exactly the same thing. He went and he printed, even he was worse, word for word. Arr, baby peeps. Y'all creating baby pips. Are baby pips in that sort Pa, creates that baby pips. Started selling it to us. I think the Byrex had 12,000 at that time. 12,000 rand will get you a copy of baby pips. Uh, pretty much dictated to you line for line. Would you pay 12,000 for baby pips? If you've ever paid 12,000 rand for baby pips, I want you to comment here right now and say, hey, Wanda, I'm one of those people that paid 12,000 for baby pips. If you are that person, then I must put an advert right now. When I advert, yeah, I, got it. I just, guys, listen, I've got a link on my bio. Just click on it. It is a collaboration between me and, jo and Joshua. Um, Joshua is a proper photographer and he's a videographer, everything. We did an entire insert for for everybody that you can watch and figure out how to make how to trade uh, forex. Just click the link, bah! Just click the link, and you know get yourself traded on forex. Try not to contact me if you've never traded forex before, because um, if you want to learn my strategies and stuff, it'd probably help if you've watched all those videos and all of those things. But I understand. <clears throat> so back to the story. Back to the story. The story was. Um, Morena GFI, Le Morena, Le Morena AFI, also known as Comrade Ref Wayne, charged oh my, 12,000 rand. 12,000 rand so you can learn baby pips. www.babypips.com. Like, if you go to www.babypips.com, you will find exactly what was in that book that he said he wrote. Ne? <laughs> Muna was selling everything that is on MT4. Understand that those brothers were selling MT4 itself. Those guys sold Meta Trader 4 itself. Do you understand? Muna, you're walking into this class. This guy says, a simple software that I want to sell you right now. Including in the 12,000, you will get access to this specific software that no one has access to for free. Right now, there's this software. It's my own personal software property of AFI, and I want to sell it to you. What else do you need? Uh, lemon, garlic. I make a mix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish here now. No, I'm gonna finish here. I'm gonna, finish here. I'm gonna have to finish because you know, you know, Muna. Another forex traders out Jola, so I have to leave you guys at some point. But. Anyway, I'm going to stop my story at the point where Ref Weezy is making us pay for this baby pips. What is, this? Is, is, is making us pay for this baby pips. And Chief, this thing is more my 12,000. You know what I mean? We're paying it. I'm gonna, we're paying this thing. 
and I support, I'm gonna support black business, you know that whole thing, you know, you know, it's like right now in the lockdown, they say support black businesses, and but black business, black, black businesses want to charge us with my 800 rand for like a bottle of wine, you know, during that time, but nonetheless, we are supporting these black businesses, I'm not black businesses, support black businesses, don't ask for a discount, this is what is, this is what was happening, this is what was happening. And Rasapota, Ref Wayne, you know, we're pushing with Ref Wayne. He charges us 12,000 Zari and Ara didn't tell 12,000 And we pay. Lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, lo and behold, when we received our baby pips online, our Meta Trader Force that we could get from the app, and all of those things, things, Chalet and Ey, Lepu. Lepu. That's a Maya. It's a Ricky the legendary Ref Wayne. Where, where Ref Wayne took that money. Ne? You guys don't know his car. He bought a land, Range Rover. A Range Rover uh, Sport. He bought a Range Rover Sport. Right after that. Bought a Range Rover Sport. And Ha! We were convinced from the from that day on when he got the Range Rover Sport. That was the day Chinese people joined. That was the day colored people joined. That was the day vendor people joined. Ma China, ma Changani, ma Zulu, ma anything, muna. Let me people from Ghana, Nigeria, America. Hey, muna, let Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, you guys don't know. You guys, <laughs> what do you mean? Ah, uh, I'm telling you, guys. You don't know if we met Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Tell me, I'm lying. How many of you know that Ref Win met Mark Zuckerberg? Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. I'll show you the meeting that never happened. I'll show you. How many of you know that Ralph Wayne met Mark Zuckerberg? And he was telling Mark Zuckerberg about why he needs to use Pipcoin. How many of you know that? If you know that Rev Wayne met Mark Zuckerberg, comment in the section. I will tell you about that meeting. I was there. <laughs> in my dreams, but I was there. Ah, boy, now Mark Zuckerberg not so regularly pip coins. La da la le na. Mark Zuckerberg bought pip coins. Le na le ring. Guys, I was there in my dreams. I was definitely there. I'm telling you. He even has pictures with Robert Kiyosaki. Listen, I also have a picture with Robert Kiyosaki. Hey, let me show you. I have an actual picture with Robert Kiyosaki. I paid 10 grand for that picture. Let me show you. Now I know Ref Wayne's one is fake. But I'll show you mine. Mine the original spot. I'll post it actually on my stories. There, that's me. That's me. There with Robert Kiyosaki. That's me. That's me right there. But I'm gonna be fun chair. Maybe like it's it's great that I've made my, my beard a little smaller. So you can actually recognize what you now da. In the broke days. Why why wanna jazzy thing in la pile? Jack is a jazzy on a jacket. Like like I caught a train early in the morning and I was cold. This is me right there with Robert Kiyosaki right there. And one day I'll have a live telling you about a conversation that I had with Robert Kiyosaki. Me. I had a conversation with Robert Kiyosaki. People don't believe. I had a mess. Boy, I had a meeting with Robert Kiyosaki. I, I paid 10 grand for that fucking picture that you're looking at right now. If you don't believe how much a picture with Robert Kiyosaki costs, if you don't know that, then Google it. Just Google how much it is to take a picture with Robert Kiyosaki. But I'm telling you now that Ref Wade had a picture with this guy as Angat Amos South Africa. Hmm? Robert Kiyosaki was never even in South Africa. And that bra had a picture even before. 
Do you understand that Robbie Kiyosaki is wearing a scarf? Yeah, spring ball. This is my proof to say that he was in the country. This is my proof that this bra was in the country. Because he's wearing a scarf. Yeah, Robert Kiyosaki. A scarf, a spring ball. Ref Wayne. Ref Wayne's Robert Kiyosaki was wearing blue sunglasses. Ha, <laughs> blue glasses. He, that guy had pictures with rock band. Hey, at this point, when I, guys, let me tell you, right? At this point, when I get jump, yeah. get jump, yeah, start, but I paid them money. I paid this money at this point. Get jump, yeah. Look at those jeans. Look, like, like I was wearing a jacket. You know, shine. No, oh, nigga, clean. I mean, like, no, nigga, look clean. Huh? Clean, chill it. But at this point, hey, man, uh, <laughs> it was not easy, guys. At this point, it was not easy. Let me throw in a little advert here quickly, and I want to say that, guys, don't forget. Please click the link on my bio if you want to learn about forex. If you want to learn the basics, it's a collaboration between me and Joshua. And Joshua is a is a really great photographer, does really great work, and also excellent videographer. And we actually invested quite a bit of money to make it happen. So I want you to watch it. It's free. It's absolutely free. And I want you to actually watch it. Just refrain on sending me a message if you've never traded Forex. Click the link. Learn for free. If you want to get into my webinars that are also free, to send me a message. And so, yo, Mr. H, I don't want to be scrammed by Warf Wayne. I don't want to do that. Please click the link. You know what I mean? Click the link. Click the link. So anyway. Um, so I'm going to end my story here because yeah, Joel, I'm afraid, you understand yeah, I'm, I'm joling, I've got a person and because I'm in joling mode, I need to go you know, go to attend you know you know what I mean one Halloween, I need to go attend of it. Hello? I need to go attend um, to the real stuff on what this is you know, I'm on bed Ach! <laughs> Oh, this is so much what Joel, I'm afraid to me to a Jola. That's a Jola, I'm not Oh, if you're a forest trader and you are single, you're not a real forest trader. Take it for me, record me as I'm saying it. If you are a forex trader and you are single, you're not a real forex trader. It's because I want to know you're not making money. This is facts. This is facts. I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything. But the truth of the matter is, if you're really making money in Forex, then why the fuck are you single? Hmm? Are you saving yourself for what? For who? For why? I see Capitec anymore. This is not a place you can save. As soon as I'm a Capitec. Huh? It's not a saving place. If you're a Forex trader and I'll jolly, then you're not making real money. How, how do we know? Because the only way we'll know that you're making real money is by looking at your lady. So, oh, actually, I'm afraid to like this person, my jola, one of them more to, one of them more to, you know, stuff like that. that you, you're paying the bills, the lights can come on, you know, stuff like that. You know, so I'm gonna, <laughs> money buys you girls. No, 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 no. Kwanda, women are not, as, are not assets that you can just say women buys you girls. Women are not for sale. Stop it! Women are not for sale, man. Hey, wanna, 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 wanna. Anele, waiting for the right chick, bro. Hey, don't tell me that shit. That's bullshit. If you're making money, you can get a girl. If you're making money, you can get a girl. Yo, guys, this is some great ass wine. Let's buy it. If you're making money, you can get a girl. So, anyway, let's have another wine session later. I don't know what it. No, 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 Kwanda, I'm not making it as if it's about money. It's not about money. I'm just saying that if you're a forex trader, there's no way you can be single. It's just something that just doesn't happen. No forex trader is single. Show me one forex trader who's single. Besides Ndamos. And Ndamos is definitely single. But show me one real forex trader. Who is single? One. Just one. How about the... No, there's just, just one. You can't name them. My, my English is like 
Ungari, it's from in a private school that went to America. No, no, guys, I'm from the hood. I think I've got a briar named Tabi, so who knows me very well. I'm from the hood. I'm from the same hood as my nigga Tabi so here. And Tabi so, Tabi so lens. Check him out, check him out. I'm from the same hood. Go grill him, tell him where I'm from. <clears throat> I'm from the hood. I just know how to speak English quite well. My mom wa veta. In other words, like my mom will trap the shit out of you if you don't speak English properly, if you don't do your maths properly. Uh, and, and I'm a general smart guy. So, um, but if you are a forex trader, Zulu, you are not a real trader, Chief. Are you making money? Chief, if you're making money, if you check in my bio, I say if you're making money as a forex trader, if you're making money as a forex trader, then let me know and I will fund you. That's how deep I take my trading. If you're a real forex trader and you make money and you can prove it to me, I will give you money to fund it, to trade it. But anyway, can we end it here? I hope you enjoyed my story about Riff Wayne and my experiences. I'd really like to share a little bit more about him because I'm such a big fan of him. And no offense, like I, I hope things work out for where he is. And I learned quite a lot from him. Um, I learned about scammers quite a bit from him. And now I know what to look out for. And some of the things that I, that I, that I teach about looking out is covered in my, in my uh, video. So just click the link. It's a YouTube channel. Check it out. It's absolutely free. Click the link. Check it out. And you'll see that I'm just talking about a lot of stuff related to Forex, how you can make money in Forex without spending any money, how you can start your trading account without any bit of money. All, th all those things, I cover it in my free um, session in collaboration with Joshua. So I want you guys to actually check it out. It's absolutely, absolutely free. Thank you for tuning in. And let's connect again. Sometime. Margot Jola no. Because I have Jola of it. Shop.